Invasion is the third and final trade of Brian Reed's adaptation of the novel Halo Fall of Reach. Yeah, now uh, the first two trades you've got Boot Camp mm -hmm. and Covenant and they follow the childhood and early career of the Master Chief. They do. Uh, with Invasion uh, creating a link between the invasion of the planet Reach with the beginning of the first Halo game, Combat Evolved. Now Halo is obviously a really well known and really well loved franchise. Of course. So do you think it's a prerequisite to have played the games or read the novel before reading this book? This book? Yes, yeah, I do, but that's mostly because this is the third part of a series. Yeah, very true. You're probably better off reading the first two trades before yeah, reading this one. I think. Having said that, though, in the third book there is a self-contained little story in there as well. Yeah, but for the uninitiated, uh, people who don't know the Halo universe, Halo revolves around the conflict between uh, humanity and an alien force known as the Covenant, mm -hmm. which is a group of different alien races that all fall under one rule. Humanity's ultimate weapon is a group of augmented, hardcore super soldiers known as the Spartans. And the hardcorest of them all. Hardcorest. Hardcorest. Yeah. I'm creating new words. Nice. The Master Chief. Ah, uh, Master Chief. Yes. Now he's almost become this iconic, like almost mythical yeah. creature in the Halo universe. He has. And I do think that the graphic novel does him justice. Yeah. I think it's really good. I don't know how much dialogue's been lifted from the novel and yeah. put in this, but. It's really well done. Yeah, no, especially the banter between Master Chief and Cortana, who's his, his, his AI companion. Yep. Uh, that's really witty and engaging. So I thought that really worked. And aside from that, the pace really kicked along as well. There's there's not a dull moment in this one. There's not, but I almost felt like I was really rushed through the later half mm -hmm. of this book. I mean, all of a sudden it's like, boom, here's your new armor. Boom, there's a plane shooting at you. Boom, there's the Covenant. Shoot at them and then get the hell out. Yeah, okay, but it is an invasion. Why did you want them to take time to sort of brush their teeth? It's, it's hard to do in a helmet, you know? It's... You can't <laughs> do it. See, you just spit in the helmet. Yeah, I kind of did. Not good. <laughs> I think this is maybe another case of it would have been better to read the previous two trades right, because yeah. I know Master Chief and I love Master Chief, of course, but yeah. I didn't have any emotional connection to the rest of his team. They right. were just kind of thrown in there. So when they splintered off and did their own thing, I found it got a little chaotic and yeah. I didn't quite get what was going on. Okay, well, <laughs> I think the chaos is well presented though. I mean, I really like Felix Ruiz's artwork in yeah. this. I mean, he has this sort of scrappy style to the pencils that I think worked really well, especially in, uh, it, it was obviously a stylistic choice and yeah. it worked really well in terms of the uh, the combat scenes. No, it did. The combat and the armour, the kind of battle weariness of them, I think yeah. it looked really well. There were quite a few blank backgrounds, which True. is a little niggle of, I think, both of theirs it can now. Be, yeah, yeah. But having said that, it wasn't a huge deal. I would have liked a little bit more sleekness to the vehicles and right. the spaceships and stuff, just okay. to kind of give a nice contrast to the, the rough and readiness of the Spartans. I think okay. that would have been a better effect. Yeah, no, look, I, I can see your point there. Yeah. What are you going to give this one overall? I think... For me, this one is a borrow. I mean, I love Master Chief, I love the Halo franchise, yeah. but I just feel like there was a few pacing issues, it was a little mm -hmm. bit rushed, and the art, although pretty cool, wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, look, I, I think for me, this one, first of all, it made me want to read the other traits. It did make me want to play Halo again. There you go. <laughs> and it also made me want to hunt the novel down as well. Yeah. So, uh, plus, added to which, I, I really did enjoy reading this, which, yep. is, which is a yardstick I want to hold to pretty much everything I read, <laughs> um, and I think that's important to look at. Absolutely. I will admit there were some pacing issues, mm -hmm. especially in the second half, once the invasion it starts. It's all happening, yeah. Um, it kind of yeah. a little bit. I probably would have given this one a borrow, but i got to be honest, my love for Master Chief, really, <laughs> it pushed it over the line into it being a buy. So this, this one's going to be a buy a for buy. me. A yeah. buy? Fair cool, it's fair a buy. Cool. Now, um, now we're, we're doing this with everyone. Yeah. Uh, so your favourite gaming franchise, what is it going to be? I think for me it has to be God of War. Ah, nice. I love God of War. It's just, oh, it's nice. so much fun. He's so angry. It's so brilliant. But i got to say my ultimate favourite, though, is Bayonetta, and that's not a franchise. Yet. Yeah, I, they've, they've announced a sequel. <laughs> they have, yeah, yeah. Okay. so I can't wait for that. But that's, yeah, okay. that's me. Oh.